distinguished guest tonight is one of the funniest members of our species. You can see him armed, mulleted, and frequently naked as former Green Beret Navy SEAL and Army Ranger MacGruber. We need you, MacGruber. Of course you do. The government is prepared to release you from prison, restore your pension, and grant you a full pardon. Oh, a full pardon? You mean for a crime I didn't commit? You killed an unarmed man in front of 75 people at your own wedding. Unarmed? He shot a rocket-propelled RPG at our wedding pagoda. You could have just arrested him. Instead, you threw him off a cliff, riddled him with bullets, and urinated on his corpse. Deserved everything he got, and you know that. Eight episodes of MacGruber drop a week from today on Peacock. Please say hello to Will Forte. It's been a long time since I saw you. It has been a long time. And I mean, a lot has happened since the last time I saw a you. A ton has happened. You had a baby. You got married. A baby got married. Sometimes people clap at those things. It's, I mean, it's like, it's just, it's a little baby right, right here. Oh, my God. Is These that are my lucky your, socks. Is that your my baby? My Father's Day present, yeah. <laughs> little Zoe. Oh, that's very cute. Oh, I have a present for you. Really? Yeah. Wow. We had the MacGruber premiere last night, and they uh, passed out these cookies. Oh, so. can I hold that yeah, up right yeah. there? Oh, thank you. Is it safe to eat? I think so. It tastes, it tastes like celery, though. That's the. I, actu I accidentally ate a dog biscuit last night on the show. You For did? Real. Yes, I did. I had no idea it was a dog biscuit. I ate it. They're making better and better dog biscuits. Wasn't like, bad. Really yeah. wasn't bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So uh, the last time I saw you was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You were a contestant on the show. Yes. This was like an hour before COVID started, right? I mean, it was yeah, crazy. Yeah, it, it really was. Uh, different things were starting to shut down. And, and I came in, and it was really the first taste of real rigid safety stuff. I was very appreciative because you guys weren't messing around. Everybody was masked and distanced and and it was it was really nice because i brought my uh you brought your dad. my dad who's your dad was your now, expert right yeah he yeah. was my expert now and, uh, i've been wanting to yeah. ask you about this actually yeah. for since this happened which was about a long time on? ago on? <laughs> about your dad because during the the show i asked your dad what his like area of expertise was because he was there to help you with questions i yeah. said like what subject matter and he said Broadway musicals, and you turn around like, what? <laughs> it seemed to be a revelation for you. <laughs> that freaking turkey had hid that from me his whole life. I don't know, but you know. You I, had no idea your dad was into Broadway musicals. No, And no, that's his never... number one thing. Yeah, I, I, I was very surprised. Was, <laughs> was that really your dad? Is that possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he brought in a ringer or something. That was my dad. <laughs> no, no, he's great. He's got a he's got a a beautiful voice, but I've never heard him really sing that much. He's he's got the craziest laugh. His laugh is like a, a horror movie person laugh. <laughs> he laughs like ah ah ah. It's, and it's crazy. I have some friends in the audience, uh, oh, you Nikki, do? Martha, and Monica, and they have heard this laugh. They heard the laugh? I, <laughs> I'm not joking, right? That's, if anything, I'm not doing It's even slower and more methodical. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, it's a little uh. bit of Herman Munster in there, yeah, even. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's so fun to hear. You got married after you had the baby. You've always been a go getter. You always really have been jumping, you. you jumped right on top of things. <laughs> Um, and you guys, oh, you brought a picture, and this is, I hope you don't mind me showing it. Well, since you brought it, oh, I, I guess you it. don't. Yeah. This is a photograph of, uh, I assume, your Catherine wedding. Olivia. And, oh, uh, that's so cute. Zoe is our little baby who's there and, uh, and on my socks, as you know. Yeah. <laughs> did she officiate the wedding? Oh, my sister did. officiated it. Oh, your sister did? Yeah. Wow. So, it, so it, we, we, uh, when when we did Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, yeah. that was like a Thursday. And then the Monday was the official start of lockdown. And that was also the first day that we were talking to a wedding planner. Oh. So we decided, you know what, let's just wait. All these people are having to postpone their weddings. We're in no rush. Smart. We'll wait. And then, you know, a year goes by and then we the baby 
comes into the picture, which was always part of the plan, but right. just, you know, yeah. we always thought we'd get married first and then, then have the baby. But so eventually what happened was we're filming MacGruber this summer, and it just so happened that my whole family was coming out to visit right around the same time. So about two weeks before they come out, we just said, let's get married. Let's surprise them and get married. So we had everybody come in this bus, show up in the back of Yorma Taconi's backyard of his rental house. <laughs> and, then every, and then when my sister was driving with my parents, uh, she gave us like a five minute warning. We said, everybody sit down. And, and basically they pulled into the driveway to this already in progress wedding that they had no idea about. It was so were fun. Were they dressed up? Did they know to? My sister had a great idea. She said, you know, we're never, we, we're hardly ever together. Why don't we take Christmas pictures since we're all together? Ah. So they had them dress up. Oh, yeah, everybody's in a red and green sweater, the whole upset. deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so you got married. Did you go on a honeymoon Did, or no? No honeymoon. Skip the honeymoon. Basically, uh, you know, just uh, luxuriated in the in, uh, beautiful city of Albuquerque. Oh, yes, yeah. right, right, where yeah. you shot MacGruber, which yes. is hysterically funny, by the way. Oh, I mean, you. it is unbelievably funny. It is <laughs> thank such you. a. It looks like it was a lot of fun. And oh. I love how seriously you guys. And you're naked also, which is great. I, 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 that's, <laughs> I am naked quite a bit. It was a bummer for everybody on that. Uh, crew, everybody on the cat. It was, I mean, oh. Yeah, the show is super funny, and oh, it's well worth watching. I do want to mention they something. let us do Oh, sorry. I, no, no, I want to mention something, because you brought a couple pictures, and this is a really, really good story, I think, and I, I would love if you would share it with us, because uh, you did something nice for charity, for the Boys and yes. Girls Club, right? My, my uh, wife is on the board of the Boys and Girls Club of Venice, and so we uh, were trying to figure out an auction item that we could, you know, do to raise money for the club. And so I decided, oh, maybe uh, uh, we'll, we'll offer the chance for one person and five friends to be the first people to see MacGruber, uh, like uh, with me and Ryan Phillippe. So, uh, and then to, to, I put some incentives in there. I said like, okay, if it gets to $15,000, you can have a page from the KFBR 392 notebook mm -hmm. that I choose. Mm -hmm. And then I said, if it gets to $30,000, which I was positive it wouldn't even get to like $5,000. I said, if it's $30,000, you can have a, a page from that of your choosing. And then as a joke, I said, and if it gets to $100,000, I will take you twice a year to yogurt for the rest of my life. <laughs> and yeah. And I also put in there, Fortes are known to live into their 90s. It is not crazy. I take care of myself. I'm on Crestor. And, uh, and so somebody paid this. $100,000. $100,000. $100,000. I am on the hook. What's the so guy's name? Yogurt. His name is Eric. His name is Eric. His name is Eric. He's, you know, and it's, it's I got to talk to him on the phone. So he took him to dinner? That's is Eric right there. Which and one's the whole Eric? group. Eric's right here in the front. Okay. He's an awesome guy. There's Ryan Phillippe. There's me over there. <laughs> he, but and dinner, huh? Was yogurt served at the, this dinner? There was uh, no yogurt at the dinner. I didn't even do a yogurt. It was the dumbest thing. Oh, no. So now that I means still you have to do two yogurts with yogurt. them. yogurt, yeah. I, and I don't know the deal. I don't know if I have to get them in before uh, 2022 or if I have a year from when the auction was. I don't know. If it's I was you, I would do like three weeks straight every day of yogurt and then say, see you in like 2035. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Eric. you know what? He is a delightful dude. We went to White Sands National Monument With, along the way. Uh -huh. And then we ate in this haunted steakhouse. And, what? Uh, is it haunted and I, by and the I, cows? We, uh, yeah, or by yeah, yeah. People? And then we showed a couple episodes of MacGruber and, you know, and, and as a uh, to cherry on top, I got to step in his little puppy's dog crab. So oh, that was, boy. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, well, it's a cute little very puppy. nice of you to do. I'll be honest, if I'd been at that dinner, I would have bid, but I would have transferred the prize to, like, the worst person in the world, like, like um, Harvey Weinstein or something. Like, you'd have to go with the yogurt with him, like, twice a year. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. You know <laughs> it's what? all for the Boys and Girls Club, everybody. No, I mean, it, it is so worth it because it's such a good organization. Yeah. Eric, thank you for yeah, your good. support. Of yeah, this, Eric. You know? Everyone, I invite everybody. Who pays for the yogurt?
Oh, I'm going to pay for the yogurt. Yeah, oh, wow, yeah, he even guy, pays for the yogurt. 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 Will Forte, yeah. everybody. He's a, a philanthropist and a wonderful actor as well. McGruber premieres a week from today on Peacock. We'll be back with Lily Collins. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.